Yo, what up, YouTube? This be your boy, Bedtime Buddy. And we're right back at it again with the Sleep Gang. I'm going to show y'all how to break down some Scorpion. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you how to play this dude nice and slow and watch him press a thousand buttons per minute while you press just one or two and you still bust his ass. So here you're going to see him going absolute crazy. And we just using spacing to limit his options. So here you're going to see me moving in and out, trying to find his range. He hit me with a nice empty jump throw, but we know he's not skilled like that to keep going for empty jump throw. So we're going to just space him at the jump range and let him and let him hang himself. And then we're going to rush him. So boom, he got us with a weird wake up. You know, that's not a very common wake up. Right now I'm trying to find the timing to to flawless block. The, the His little kick thing is really hard to do online though. So I'm just spacing him, you know, spacing him at the jump range, taking a nice confident walk backwards and then punishing accordingly. This is how you fight Scorpion. You minimize, you minimize the possibilities of his bull crap by using solid spacing. So y'all see me here, look, he can't start his, his, his kick staggers because I'm out of range. And because they're so used to oppressing people with those kick staggers, they just get frustrated and start using like teleport cancels and, and get over here is random. So you just, you just frustrate them. Just walk back, frustrate the guy, Make him wish he was fighting anybody else in the world, but he's stuck here fighting you. So as you see here, we trade a couple down ones. That's where I don't want to be. I don't know why they started me in that range. So anyway, here I get the side chain. Boom, toss the scrub in the corner. Boom, jump the wake up. Boom, jump range, anti-air, clean. Now he all shivering. Boom, hit him with a bomb to frustrate him real quick. Now he thinking about teleport. He's like, oh, dang, look, he ain't throwing no projectile. So I got to try to walk him down. Look, now he tried to walk back. Look, he don't know what to do. He don't know what to do right now. It's like, oh wait, you want to throw, you want to throw projectiles? I'm gonna hit you with this teleport, dog. Nah, see, I ain't throwing projectiles no more. See, hitting with a little mix. Look, now I'm just backing up, look, just making them miss. Look, because Scorpion players have piss poor spacing. So you see here, he starts to hang himself. I missed the confirm, but it doesn't really matter. And then I take a moment to try to consider how I want to finish this fool. But you know, I just decided to beat him just like that with the brutality, be nice and clean. So then I give him a run back. Right, so you would think that he makes some adjustments, but nah, this guy's eleven thousand wins deep and running this system, <laughs> so it ain't gonna be no adjustments. <laughs> if, if if Plan A don't work, it ain't no Plan B. So I'm gonna keep on spacing him at the at the jump range. I don't mind the teleport cancel. All he got off of it was a throw. So we punish to get over here. Is look as you can see, I always default back to that spacing. So I know that once I start blocking those two kicks, it's gonna get problematic. So the idea for me is to either get him to walk a little bit too far and then I can start hitting him halfway or to make him miss one or the other. He has to pick his poison. Most players don't know how to use walk down in tournament. You know, that's obviously a little bit different, but most players don't know how to walk in a point down, especially in NRS. So you gonna see me always default back to that jump range. Right here, we just use some offense because we got the knockdown. So we're going to pressure, take advantage of our knockdown, pressure this guy. And he misses off of his ability to push a button there. I'm going to teach you guys in a future video how to properly navigate the post blade spin situation. It's kind of like being minus two in Street Fighter. It's not the best situation, but it's not the worst situation either. So here, you're going to get to see that the guy actually knows a combo. So. That's the damage that I was not taking by staying out of trouble the whole time. So there that was a failed input, followed by a bad wake up so he gets to show his stuff again. Bad choice of combo that I thrown inside the corner. I wanted to get him back for that short hop, so I had to get him back real quick. Now there, I didn't expect him to jump kick three times. That was actually very crazy, but I need to, be, I need to understand that when my opponent is frustrated, and actually take advantage of it. See right here, he's just dying to hit me. He wants to hit me so bad. Like y'all ever want to hit somebody so bad, but you just can't, you just can't hit the guy? Like, imagine how, how boxers feel when they fight Floyd Mayweather. That's how you want Scorpion to feel. So basically here, we just school him. Look, always going back to the jump range over and over. He can't never get going. And that's it, you guys. That's how you use spacing against Scorpion. Poor guy. Almost feel bad for him. Anyway, catch y'all next time. Like and subscribe. Um, next up, uh, I think bedtime, buddy. Bedtime. Uh, has, has to fight bedtime, buddy. Bedtime. <laughs> bedtime, oh, buddy. 
Bedtime. No, I'm just thought, you know, I'm, I'm just random like that. <laughs> bedtime, buddy. Bedtime. Yo, man, don't meme a fight. Bedtime, buddy. I got a buddy. And I'm about.